One of the most important ways of customizing BricsCAD to make it work the way you want it to work is through the settings dialog box. Setting controls system variables and, and variables take on different values. The value of a variable determines how BricsCAD will react in specific circumstances. Here's an example of how system variables help you. The little square at the center of the cursor is called the pick box and it helps you pick entities in the screen. The only way to change the size of the pick box is through system variables. Let's see how that's done. System variables are changed with the settings dialog box. So let's go to settings on the menu bar, choose settings, and there's the dialog box. Now this dialog box handles settings for some 800 variables and so it's best not to attempt to look through the list but to use the search box so here I've got the cursor in the search box now let's type pick box and as you type notice that BricsCAD jumps to the first item with the word pick in it then you can finish the word and you get to pick box there's more than one reference to pick box in this dialog box you can use these arrows to jump between them but this is the one we want. So right now it's got a value of 4. Down here in the help area it tells us that the 4 is the size in pixels and that we can go between 0, which is no pick box, and a maximum of 50. To show the dramatic size of 50, I'll enter that and then I'll press enter and notice that the text here becomes bold. It alerts you that the value has changed and then down here in the preview we see how big the pick box will be. Now we click the red X to close the dialog box and there's the enormous pick box now. You can use the undo command to change it back to the previous value. Let's take another look at the bottom part of the settings dialog box that provides you help. It not only describes the purpose of the system variable and showing you a preview of what it looks like, but it also gives you the name of the variable and some information useful to programmers. Many variables are compatible with AutoCAD, but uh, if it's unique to BricsCAD, then you'll also see this reference to BricsCAD only. Remember how I said you could see the name of the variable in the help portion of the settings dialog box? Well, that's because you can also use these variable names directly at the command line. So here I've typed in pick box. BricsCAD asks me for a new value for it and once again it shows the range being from 0 to 50 in the parentheses in the angle brackets the current default value. So once again I'll enter 50, press enter and there's the giant pick box. Repeat the command by pressing the space bar and say let's put in 10 and there's a somewhat smaller one. Let's return to the settings dial box to see what else can be done with it. You see these plus signs and uh, that means that uh, there's more information being hidden inside. So you click on a plus sign and up it opens. Now once you're inside, uh, there's this gray bar here. You can move that back and forth in order to see more or less as well as the dialog box itself can be made bigger and smaller. When you see a uh, name in gray, that means it's a read-only one and uh, that means you cannot change it. Usually the value is set by BricsCAD or by the operating system. The boxes here turn options on and off and you can see that it turning boldface to show a change has happened. When there's a, uh, a number in brackets like that, it means there's actually a list of options you can choose from. So click the down arrow and change the option. Sometimes you need to be able to get into other dialog boxes. So for example here, if you click on this, you'll see the uh, browse button way over here. Click on that, that lets you choose another folder for this particular variable. I should emphasize that anytime you make a change, the change happens immediately to BricsCAD and so that when you get out of the dialog box by clicking the red X, uh, the change has already been effected. Let me tell you what's going on with the toolbar. 
This button here sorts it by categories. This one's alphabetical, so you can see it starts off with two, goes into the A's. I prefer the category way. This button exports all the values as a CSV file. That's comma separated values. Once you've exported them, you can open them into a spreadsheet. This button jumps to the drawing section, this one dimension section, this one to the program options section. Finally, this button here lets you specify how the search takes place and where BricsCAD should search for the phrase that you've entered.